Yeah. Mark, the fact is you're a pastor. What I find interesting about what Jesus says is that he says, I'm standing right in the midst mm -hmm. of every one of these churches. He sees everything that's going on. He knows what's in their heart and how they serve him. And boy, that's a scary thought when you think about any church, when you think about your church, whatever's going on there, he's right in the midst. He sees the whole thing. I love when we go back to Ephesus, okay? And let's go back to a couple of these things. Think about this church, the pastor of this church. He says, I know, Jesus says, your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear the, those who are evil, and you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not, and they have found them liars, and you have persevered and have had patience, and you've labored for my name's sake, and have not become weary. Now, boy, I'll tell you what, that's a super duper church right there. No, that's right. It's, it's a, it's a five-star church. I mean, this is like the flagship church in, in the New Testament. And yet he says, nevertheless, mm -hmm. I have this against you. You have left your first love. Now, they didn't lose it. They deliberately turned away from it. They left it. Mm -hmm. What is that first love? Well, I think the first love there is their love for Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, they'd come to Jesus Christ and believed in Him, trusted in Him, the one who died on the cross for their sins. And, but over time, um, you know, it, it's interesting. Uh, you know, even our, our love for Jesus Christ can diminish, even though these people were busy. They were busy working for the Lord. Uh, they had all their theology correct. You know, someone uh, said once that you, know, you can be as straight as a gun barrel theologically, but you can be as cold as a gun barrel spiritually. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really how they were, that they had all the right doctrine, uh, they knew the right things, uh, but they had fallen away in their love and their passion for Jesus Christ. And that's a great warning really for all of us today, that we not allow other things to come in and replace our love uh, for Jesus Christ.